guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't been doing much lately on my channel. Um, I've just been going through some mental stuff, so I'm sorry about that. But this video I'm super, super excited about. It was actually inspired by Miss Alice Thorpe. If you don't know Alice Thorpe, she's a graphic designer on this platform and her work is amazing. Like, I honestly love her stuff. Check her out. I will link her in the description below. So please, please go check her out. She's amazing. She was showing um, how she makes, like, these, like, cartoon photos of people. And I wanted to do that. But the person that I'm going to be doing is very well known. And if you know me, then you know that I would do this. But the person that I chose to make a cartoon out of is Rhett McLaughlin. And if you don't know who he is, he is the co-host of the internet show called Good Mythical Morning. And that is like my favorite show of all time on the internet right now. If you haven't checked out them, you really should. Um, but if this video somehow gets to Rhett, um, hi Rhett, um, I love the show. And also Link. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So I have my iPad right here and this time I'm not gonna do a screen recording. I actually have a camera up here pointing down at my my iPad so that you can physically see where I'm pointing and all that good stuff. I'm going to be using the app called Procreate and I'm going to be using my Apple Pencil to do that. So I'm so excited. Let's get on into it. So let go. So welcome to my iPad. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, I now have Link as my home screen. But the photo, I think I found it on Pinterest. Pinterest, can I speak? So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to link the pin in the description box. Photo that I chose is this one right here. I just love his hair and how he grew it out. So I'm gonna try to draw him in a cartoon style and i hope it just goes well i have the ipad 7th generation um 2019 edition yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up the app called procreate it is not a free app it's a paid app but it's worth it um and i'm gonna come up here to photo so that i can just import it into the canvas make my pencil work please right here I mean, that may have been a bad idea, I should've... Mm. I mean, we can still do it just with this. I mean, sure, why not? Um, <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna do a canvas. Screw it. Ha, and then you come up here to the wrench. We're gonna add, and I'm gonna add a photo. No, not take a photo, add one. Uh, insert a photo. I know how to do this. I'm gonna come up here to my brushes here and I'm gonna just do a sketching and I'm gonna make a new layer. So I'm now drawing on top of the photo. It's not on the photo layer, it's on top of the photo layer. So if I hide the photo, then my sketch is still gonna be there. So I'm just going to outline his face first. First, I'm going to put down the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to include his beard in the initial sketch. And there's his ear. <laughs> yeah, whoop, I, I looked the wrong camera. I've now just outlined his face. Um, then he, I didn't even change the thickness of the pen. Wow, I'm, I'm an idiot. Wouldn't it be funny if this actually, like, he sees this and then he puts it on his, like, Twitter? It's hard to see because I put down the opacity, so I can't see where his beard ends and his neck begins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thing to say, Tiffany. <laughs> that's a thing to say. But just a side note, this is, like, the first time that I've, like, ever done this. So if it turns out crappy, I'm sorry. It, it, it's nothing against threat. Believe me, nothing against threat. There we go. Now we can move on. <laughs> now I'm just outlining his features. Right now I'm doing his eyebrows. Now I'm just outlining his eyes. And of course I just drank coffee, so I'm my hand wants to start shaking. <laughs> I've never seen red <laughs> this close up. <laughs> um, then here's his lips. And then his beard is gonna be another task. You can't really see his upper lip for this his mustache is in the dang way. Let's see what it looks like. 
Um, it looks like nobody right now. I'm just going to... Big nostrils. <laughs> And his eyeballs and pupils. If this comes out really good, yo, I got talent. And we can do maybe the outline of his mustache, maybe? My hand wants to shake so bad. Just don't drink coffee before- I mean, he's gonna- he's gonna look like Santa Claus. Come on, let's- let's be real. He's gonna look like Santa. Um, but that's not the goal here. The goal is Rhett, not Santa. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Looks like we need to outline his hair. Um... Just gonna do just a rough outline of his hair. I feel like I need to bring the opacity up of this layer so I can see it a bit better. All right, we're getting somewhere. Still looks like Santa Claus, but we're still getting there. But we're just gonna do his shoulder like this. I might just have to maybe cut it short, but it's just gonna be. Mm. I would hate to do this to your rep, but I'm gonna cut you off there. <laughs> and then here's part of his neck right here. Well, so we have our basic outline of our rep McLaughlin. Now what we need to do is we're now we need to make solid lines. So they're different brushes, like just like do this, but in solid lines. So maybe we can go inking maybe and do the technical pen maybe. And now I'm just going to kind of go over my sketch lines. And also guys, just so you know, he also hosts or co-hosts their podcast called Ear Biscuits. So if you haven't heard that, you know, I'm giving you guys free promo. Like if you don't already know, I mean, if you're a close friend of mine, then you'll know this, but I call them my men. Um, I might, here, I might do that more of his skin color. So I'm just gonna hold down like this. Oh my god, does that remind you guys of um, the vlog that they did with the skin walls? <laughs> yes. So I picked up his skin color. Make it a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna kind of cheat um, what Alice did and put on the alpha lock and then fill layer and then it kind of like does that. I might fix it later but again this is my first time doing this so I'm just gonna be all over the place with everything. So using the uh, technical pen brush bring that back down I'm gonna go back to using black and I'm just going to I'm just outlining all of the rest of the other features of his face I mean, in black, we can just like fill that in. We don't even need to do anything with that. We just fill that in black. I'm gonna make this. Nope, too big. I'm gonna make this line actually black instead of a skin color. That's just like the crease of like um, his eyelid, you know? That's what that is. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know if this, if this will help, but... At the end, this should look like him. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be... upset spaghetti. <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm just putting it all on one layer. I keep forgetting to make a new layer, which is not a good thing for me to do, but I did it. I'm just gonna pick up the lip color and do his lips. <laughs> I mean, I would do his top lip, but it's covered by his mustache, so you can't really see it. Um, 
I'm just gonna drop. I'm just gonna color drop it. We're just gonna do it right now. That doesn't look like a lip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that beard? I did not prepare myself for that beard. I did not. So I'm just using the reissue tool to kind of shape it a bit more and fix it. And we're gonna do a new layer and we're just gonna kind of just make the crease of where his lips join together. I guess next we can do his mustache maybe? Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna pick up the general color of his must or his beard. Well, his beard and mustache are the same color. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of outline everything. I'm sorry, um, that camera just stopped recording. I'm sorry, so we're back. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I just did the whites of that eye. Now we just need to do it for his other eye. Now he's got green eyes, so we need to go back to the photo layer that is hiding. Hmm, can I get a nice green color? It's making me more of a brown, but okay. Make it more green, yeah. Yeah, there we go! There we go, his eyes are green. See that? And then we're gonna just do a new layer like this. And I'm just going to color in his eyeballs. Like so. <laughs> my camera stopped recording my, my top down. It's a lot to try to take in, guys. Um, I don't really film like this. But, um, yeah, so. I don't know what. And I stopped recording, but, um, yeah, so, I'm just filling in his eyebrows, probably in a way that doesn't look that great, but it's not Red's fault, it's my fault. We can add in the skin color. It's getting somewhere! Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. Wow, I'm actually proud of myself, even though I, I just traced his features and did that. I'm, I'm still, I'm still trying here, guys. I just need his hair. Oh, see, now that really works right there. See, now that looks like him because of the hair. But, yeah, so now I'm just going to take um, a color that matches hair because I just I swatched it. Um, and I'm going to trace the outline that I have made. I'm just going to attach it in the back like this, so then I can just put it behind the beard and everything, and then just fill in with the color that I need. Yeah, and then I'm just going to do another layer, make that a reference, and then I'm just going to fill in the color drop feature. Okay, that just looks weird. <laughs> but when you put everything back on top, Oh my god, that looks so good! Oh my god, he kind of looks like Jesus, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> um, holy crap, that looks so good! But does it look like him? Like, if, if you saw that, would you know that that was Rhett? Dang, I didn't think it- wow! Alice Thorpe, you have done me justice to teach me how to do this. I'm sorry, that looks- incredible i think in another video i'm gonna do a vector portrait of him a vector portrait will kind of be like this but instead of made of like pixels and everything it's vectors which is i mean technically pixels but it's not like pixels now what i want to do is i want to well first of all fill in his neck because that just looks too awkward 
Again, we're going to pick up his skin tone like this. And I'm just going to kind of follow just the sketch that I made. And again, if we hide the beard layer, I just kind of like go like this to attach them, make sure there's no holes in it. And we're just going to take the color and drop it in. That did not work. Why? Um. Making sure there is no holes. In lay drawing, maybe if I turn off the sketch layer, I'll find it. You know, that's complete solid shape. You know, that's not working. I tried to mess with the threshold, but I don't see any gaps in that. And I could always just go to the painting section and just color it in myself. Like this. Guys, do you see this? Do you see this? I mean, in a way, he looks like Jesus right now <laughs> because of the hair. Um, and I'm not trying to offend Jesus. I know there are people out there who worship him. I'm not offending him. So it just, he just looks like Jesus. I, please do not take offense to that. I do not mean it that way. But holy crap, that actually looks hella good. Like, crap. I mean, does that look like Rhett? Can can you, like, does it look like it should? That's who it's supposed to be. I mean. Then we need to, oh my god, this actually looks so good. Guys, do you think I should tweet this at him? I think I, I might and see what he thinks. I'm not going to draw his exact shirt design. I could see him with, like, a maroon kind of shirt, maybe. I just made a new layer and now I'm just tracing over my sketch lines that we made before. And then I think we'll just do like a light line here to kind of distinguish between his shirt or his sleeve and the rest of his body. Okay, so we're just going to maybe we can get rid of these sketch lines. Just go over the top like so I can't see what I'm doing. I mean, I can make it a bit more round so that since we're only doing like, there we go. So uh, like, I'm not doing this whole body. I'm just doing like a bust shot of him. Maroon would be like a dark red maybe. I'm just gonna make a little thing here so I can go back to the color. Um, so I need a black. And so I'm just going to Close the shape of his shirt. Just trying to make sure that it's closed everywhere or else the fill will not work. Again, make that layer a reference layer. I'm gonna come up here. I'm just going to pick up this color that I put down. Like that. I'm just gonna... Aha! He looks like a Fabio if you just don't do his beard. He looks like a Fabio, right? Like, he looks like a Fabio. I just feel like I gotta put texture in his beard and hair. So it looks like hair. So we will do it to his beard first. And we're gonna make this layer, I think, a clipping mask, maybe? Um, 
have the color of his hair, and then there, I think there's um a hair texture somewhere. There's a wood texture. If you know, you know. Touch ups. Aha, here we go. Flowing hair or fine hair. You can do that. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, Tiffany, it's, it's not going to show up because it's the same freaking color. So, no, it's definitely not going to show up. Do I ever learn? No. I'm like, why is this showing up? Um, clearly I just don't know how to use this dang brush. So maybe we'll just... I'm just gonna like... Just gonna kind of make it look a bit like hair. I'll do the same thing for the hair that's on his head. I mean, that looks pretty dang good. I mean, let me know in the comments how you think I did. Um, I mean, I might just have to add a bit more, like, depth. Like, add, like, shadow and stuff like that. And try to fix everything that is wrong. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like him because it's a cartoon, obviously. Um, but hey, it, I'm trying. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to add shadow um, so we can tell between his beard and his neck. So I'm going to go on the beard layer. We're going to maybe... Or maybe just go above the neck layer, like this. And then just go on the soft airbrush and darken the color a little bit and just put a shadow there. Without the brush size being too big. Hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm tapping with two fingers to undo. That's what I'm doing. I'm undoing what I just did. So I just put a little, little shadow there. And erase what touched the shirt. Guys, I'm amazed at my own work. Um... Yeah, there's not much shadow because there's obviously a light. And I can also make that. I can change the blend mode to be darker color. If that even did anything. Or darken. Maybe darken might be a nice thing to do. And we're back. So I just swapped the batteries. The battery for my above camera. Um, I didn't, I didn't do anything with the, um drawing here. Um, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I just might want to add a little bit of a shadow maybe around his face. Like, in between his face and his hair. That. So we're just gonna go like that. Get the skin color. Make it a bit darker. Like that. We're gonna use the soft airbrush. I'm just gonna do kind of like like, contour him a little bit. You know? I'm just going to uh, clipping mask that. I'm going to maybe smudge that out a bit. Maybe blend it like this. Yeah, I knew something was throwing it off. The outline of his face was throwing me off. 
Um, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe I can blur the layer from the Gaussian blur layer. That's not doing jack squat. Because I wasn't on the correct layer, that's why. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe we don't... Or maybe we can just leave it flat, I guess. Honestly, guys, I like how it turned out. So that was my cartoon drawing of Mr. Rhett James McLaughlin. You should so check out Good Mythical Morning. Um, it's the show that he co-hosts with his best friend Link Neal. And if you don't watch it, um, please take time, watch it. You won't regret it. It's amazing. I mean, I stayed up when I first joined the fandom. I stayed up until like 3 a.m. and I was still going. And then I realized I couldn't stop. So, yeah, but if you are a mythical beast already, comment who your favorite is. I'm curious. My favorite is Link. I think he's really good looking. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love him? I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And also go and check out Alice Thorpe. She is amazing. I will link her in the description and I will also link GMM as well. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and also, if you're a Mythical Beast, give me a thumbs up as well. That would be awesome to see where my beasts are at. And if you like my channel, maybe consider um, hitting the subscribe button. Then you get all of my content. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!